So right off the bat, things are getting real heavy in Dive Alert, Becky's version. The Earth has been devastated, apparently. Look, I don't know. This is a game for the Neo Geo Pocket Color, and all of Earth's major cities have been vaporized. Billions are dead before the start of this game. I don't, I don't know what kind of game this is. All I know is that it's a Neo Geo Pocket Color game made by Sacknoth. Oh, and here's, a, here's Global Warming making... Global Warming was jealous of the disaster and decided it needed to speed things up. Sacknoth were the makers of Kudelka and Shadow Hearts, and they also made this. The few humans left alive made some submarines. So we're going to be trying out Dive Alert, Becky's version. Why is it called Becky's version? Because there was another version of the game called uh, Matt's version. Those are the two characters, Becky and Matt. This is Becky's version. The uh, survivors are looking for new, uh, a new place to live. So this is Waterworld. The, uh, yeah, I guess that's repeating here. Life is no longer what it... No, I, th I don't think it's repeated. Yeah, life's no longer what it used to be. Okay, 100 years since the destruction of the human race. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start a new game. There we go. There we go, that's Becky. We could rename her, but why would we? We know she's Becky. Select my Navicom. I can go with Bryce, or Chiho, or Ida. Or is that an N? I mean, okay, so I, I see the difference between the H and the, that's Chino, okay. Aiden, Chris, Will, well, obviously we're gonna go with Mochu. I mean, come on. Who else would you go with? Select a sub, and after that, select the Dom, but first the sub. Here's this turtle-looking sub, the Olive, Adelie, Cersei, Jaguar. I mean, this this one is arms. That seems practical. So, begins with Becky. And it just sees depressed at how there are no humans. We're on a mission. So, we're, we're trying this out for an hour, and we're going to see what it's like. Never actually played the Neo Geo Pocket Color. We're not happy. Do we want to go home? Do we have a problem? We still haven't seen any humans. There aren't many humans now, it's true. Last time we saw a human? Six months ago. I have, I, you know, I, I have beaten Becky at this point, maybe. The only things we've seen on the sonar have been auto men? Very lonely. We can't give up. Eep. Maybe there aren't people. Maybe there aren't any more humans. Dot, 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 dot. Don't say that, Becky. Maybe. Erp? Maybe I'm the last. Becky, no. You're giving yourself an undeserved sense of importance by pretending you're the last human. But the computer says there are more humans all the time because they won't stop doing it. The computer said that? Yes, exactly that. Is the population really increasing? More humans, more chance to meet. I don't know how we're doing that if we're, only, if we're living in these tiny submarines. Maybe they're building more submarines. Go back? New day. Our quota is... Our quota of what? I don't know. But our quota is not reached. We need more points to be a citizen of... Oh, okay. There's like a, a point system where you have to earn your citizenship. What do you get for citizenship, I wonder? But that's what we're trying to do. We're not happy, though. Only... You have to trust... We trust in Mochu. 
Who can we trust if not Mochu? We're good friends. It is a hard life, but we are still alive, still together, as opposed to uh, staying alone and staying alive. This is the exact opposite thing. There's got to be many more humans. We have to be positive. Hooray. Humans live at Terra. We must go to Terra. Terra. It sounds like a dream, doesn't it? Terra is happy place. We must think of that. I bet Terra is not what it's all cracked up to be. If we can just make it to Terra. Tralla. Before we go back to the Domus, let's get some more auto men. Mochu is very happy to get some auto men. What's that alert? I've never heard this. Let's go. Into our sub. Find the signal. It's an SOS. Someone needs help. Who needs help? Someone is asking for help. Who is calling? It doesn't matter who's calling. We have to find out where the signal's coming from. Found the signal. Chala. Uh, it's close. Maybe we can scavenge... I mean, I'm sure... Uh, well, I mean, we'll save them if they're alive, and then if they're dead, then it's scavenging time. We'll be careful. There are others here. There are other humans after all. Position X, let's go. All right, there's X. All right, I'm moving my thing. So X is now... Yep. Go back a little. X is in front. And, yep, now we're moving closer to X. We're excited to, to meet some new people after six months. Yeah! the P I don't think we're meeting new people after six months. They are surrounded by auto men. I am very excited to find out what auto men are. We have to help them. Many, many auto men. Much more than sonar. Sh oh no, the sonar lies. It doesn't matter. We're gonna re we're going to take on all these auto men. I don't care what happens to me. I have no will to live anymore. There's too many. We have to hide. We will not. We are going to save that sass. Mochu, come on. Mochu, it's time to go on a suicide mission. You and me, Mochu, together. Mochu is not willing to die today. But we do not care. <laughs> Becky, is, Becky is going to make that decision for Mochu. No response on the comms. Oh, the info on sub. The sass is called the Bobcat. Captain is Jun Mahara. Jun, a girl like me? Well, we don't know. I mean, it's J-U-N. Ah, no weapons on Bobcat. What are they thinking? Taking out a no weapons sub this far out. You must be joking. Not carrying any weapons. None in this world. More strangeness. Hull density is... It's a very strong hull. Go very deep. Very strange. It's an unusual sub. What's more important is to contact June. J yeah, she's just yelling, hoping that the ocean will carry the sound waves of her voice. Okay, here's June. Hello? Hello? It's not a girl. Yes, the first communication is two people, well, person and an animal expressing disappointment that you're not a girl. Uh, so what if it's an old man? At least he's not hurt. Hey, th we're Becky. I am known as Mr. Mihara. Please don't call me June. You are my, you're my juniors. You should be uh, talking to me with respect. For some reason, I am under attack. I have no idea why. We're here to help him out. It's your choice to assist me. But, ah, actually help me, please. 
We're coming in. One more thing, though. Please call me Mr. Mihara. I'm old enough to be your grandfather. Strange man. Don't be rude. Look what we've done. The channel's been cut off. Oh, no, it's the auto men. They're doing it. We have to help Mr. Mahara. No, don't do it. It's suicidal. Hide is better. We can't win. Mr. Mahara is... He, look, he's elderly. He had a good life. But we're young. We have our futures ahead of us. But Becky does not accept this. Becky feels that her life is not a life worth living if she leaves others to die. Someone like her doesn't live long in a violent world full of auto men. Please. I can't leave him like this. Uh, Mochu accepts its death. All right, setting new target. Thanks, Mochu. I knew I could count on you. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. Yes, Mr. Mahara. What's an auto man? The things that are surrounding you, they attack humans. We get points when we kill them. When we have enough, we can go to Terra. What are these points you speak of? We'll explain it all later. We are very kind. We will probably die in the attempt. Let's get this over with. Okay. Kill auto men. Okay, Mochi has entered kill mode. Uh, I don't see any auto men on... Uh, there's an auto man. Hold on. Okay, I do have, like... Yeah, okay, there we go. I'm firing that missile. Okay, it killed the auto men. I don't know if I can actually... Oh, I don't know what that is. It's a menu. I don't know if I can actually dodge the attacks. I mean, I'm kinda. I move very slow in comparison to the missiles. I got Kelpie too. Whatever, whatever that might be. Okay, HP regain. That's very, that's very good, since we have been taking some hits. I hope we get more of an explanation as to what the auto men are. All we know is that they attack- that we got Balax. All we know is that the auto men attack and kill people. It's what they like to do. Regain. Very good. Much better. We can't believe it. I mean, there are still auto men out there. We didn't wipe them all out or anything. It's strange, though. There's something weird about those auto men. What is weird? I don't know why. But their movements are too simple. Don't, I'm not used to this novice level of auto man. They aren't moving very well. They're usually faster than this. Hmm. We can handle them. Real auto men. What did you say? Didn't say anything. Look, there's more auto men coming. Don't worry about what Mochi just said. We're feeling great today. Becky does. Becky was wondering if she might die today, but she feels pretty confident at this point that she is not going to. Uh, 
Uh, these take more than one hit. Ah, is it submerged or something? Or did I kill it and is that like an item? No, I mean, it's still... I think it's still there. I don't know what the numbers are referring to. Or are they like s submerging maybe and I can't hit them? But I thought I was under... I thought I was under the water as well. But this is clearly uh, a different kind of auto man than we were just fighting. Alright, so just it did take a few more hits, it seems. I guess that's the. Sometimes the shots go through it. What happened? They're tougher than they were a second ago. Hmm. This is it. We're toast. Well, Mochi, it's been, an, it's been a hard, disappointing life. And I guess it's over now. Oh. I'm sorry, Mochi. That's Mochu. I'm sorry, not Mochi. You were right. You said we should leave. Our deaths are all my fault. Now look. Becky. I couldn't leave Mr. Mahara. I just couldn't. I couldn't live with myself if we did. Don't be sad, Becky. Too many auto men. Becky fought very well and will die honorably. Do you think so? No lie. I couldn't rescue Mr. Mahara. Ah. I really wanted to go to Terra. Well, Becky, we all die without achieving our dreams. Sad but true. Look, here come some more auto men. They're coming straight at us to finish us off. We're gonna die. Oh, here is a very a handsome person. A handsome masked person. Very charismatic, clearly. What? The auto man exploded. What's going on? It's kind of early to give up like that, isn't it? Winers can't be winners? Wow, we got an, an, an entire crew disparaging our whining. Ew, I smell the fear. Okay, that's... You don't have to be obnoxious about it. Only foolish people sit and wait for death to come. You said it. Well, I mean, we are happy that we're not dead. The new sass is Lynx. Captain is Sally Suez. Who is she? Uh, it's me! I'm the captain of the Lynx. That tall, tall guy over there is the programmer, Frank Fitz. And the pudgy one is the mechanic, Bud Boomer. Let's clean up the rest of those automorons. Crunch them and munch them. Time to collect the trash. Then calling your highness, is she royalty? Getting sick of hearing everything twice. There's nothing we can do about them, so don't hesitate. It's party time. At, eventually, they'll get there. Party time will happen at some point. Whoa, whoa, wow! They're incredible. Look at them. I mean, I'd, I'd like to look at them. I cannot. No Navicom on Sass. No Navicom? They're fighting without a Navicom? They are. They're, wow, they're great. They're doing it manually. We're very impressed about that. All manual. I can't believe it. I've never seen moves like these. But Mochi does not like the Lynx. We fight only to get points for Terra. But people like them, they enjoy fighting. I wonder. Resistance? The resistance? What's that? 
very oh they don't uh, the resistance are bad people they're terrorists they want to destroy domus network and Terra because they're not fans of Terra of the uh of the system of the society that has sprung up in the wake of the fall of humanity are you serious no way bad bad people leader is called Arahim is a very bad person nerp Sorry to interrupt, but yes, we forgot all about Mr. Mahara. It looks like the fight is over. But what a fight it was! You should have seen it. It was amazing. Is everyone okay? Uh, yes. Thank you. You saved my life. I should thank you as well, I guess. I'm sincerely grateful for your unselfish efforts on my behalf. Dots. 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 Don't mention it. Neither of you are really my type, but I'm not picky. So you're Becky. Can that sass of yours still move? I think so. We should be able to get to the nearest Domus. I hope. Great. Can you tow the old guy's sass? I don't think he can move it by himself. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance. Always reliant on younger people. To care for me. But Becky doesn't mind. Don't get into more trouble. Try not to be killed by auto men. Aren't you coming back to the Domus with us, terrorist? I don't want to go to the Domus. They're close personal friends of Arahim. They're gonna destroy the CDH's world. Every lousy Domus. Destroy them all. Not to mention the auto morons and the other trash that. Oh, CDH created the auto men. But CDH is the one thing that's keeping us alive. Really? Miss Suez, why would someone like you be working for the resistance? Bad person is lying. No one has seen Arahim. Big mystery. Four years ago, poof. Arahim makes the resistance. What kind of a name is Arahim? Resistance, very bad. Big enemy. You'll find out the truth soon. Enough. It's probably too complicated to fit into this small text box. It's a problem for grown-ups to deal with. Sally? Frank? Bud? What? Will we ever meet again? I've formed such a deep emotional bond with you over the last couple of minutes. Well, it's a big ocean, but I have a hunch that we'll be bumping into each other again. There they go. Bye-bye. Sorry to interrupt your period of mourning, but I have several questions that he would like to ask. Mis Mr. Mahar doesn't know anything about what's going on. What are auto men? And what is a domus? And what the ocean is CDH? How could he not know these things? How is it possible? He does not know. How could any... He's ne Becky's never met anyone like him that doesn't know the foundations of this world. Mochu, could you, um... Could you give Mr. Mahara an orientation? I don't want to really get uh, to that uh, basic a level, really. I mean, there's a lot to, co there's a lot to cover if we have to explain just the very foundational elements of the society and politics of this world. I want to hear everything. Mr. Mahara re Yes, did you even read the intro, Mr. Mahara? It's all explained there. No, Mr. Mahara is the type who usually skips the intro. I see. But I feel if he read the intro, he would know what was going on. He apologizes. Long time ago, maybe a hundred years, Big Bang, Sirius B star exploded. Very bad time, many big problem. Oh, problems, it's what it said. Humans almost died. Hmm. Bad, bad times, very big earthquakes. Couldn't live on land? No, could not. It was radioactive. People go to ocean, live on ocean. I see. They must have had a tough time. Yes, you might call the fall of human civilization a tough time. 
Bad times, not good. Need special places for humans to live. Somewhere warm, safe. Systematic armored submarines. SAS, good. So that's what SAS stands for. I was completely mistaken. Big job to run SAS. Navigation computers help. Navigation computers are Navicoms. Ah, yes. Navicom. Here and there, there are Domus all over ocean. They can fix the SAS at the Domus. Many good things to buy Domus. So the Domus are docks and repair facilities for submarines. Is that right? Yes. Mother computer made everything. Help humans. Nerp. He means the cur deus homo. CDH. CDH, hey? That's a bit of an exaggeration. Huh? Humans misland very much. Want to go back. Humans having to stuff themselves in these small submarines and never able to get into land, making humans deranged. Mochu starts to fear for Mochu's life. CDH built a safe place on land. Safe place is Terra. Hmm, it sounds great. And we could all live there, hey? It certainly would be easier than living on the sea. Immigrating to Terra is a bit difficult. You see, there's an exam. Terra's not very big. Uh, they... It's starting to get a little bit violent in regards to immigrants there. Conditions are cramped, are they? Small is good. Is it? Best things are small. Uh, there's another condition for becoming a citizen of Terra. Remember the automatic sass that attack you? Those things are called automen. When you destroy an automen, you get points. You have to have at least... That's a lot of points. Before you can immigrate. To, do you get, how many points do you get from defeating one automen? Do you get one point? Because how many automen are there? As long as you keep beating the automen, you can gain points. And one day, in the distant, 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 distant future, you will be welcomed by the rest of the elite. Well, no, we're not saying that. We're saying that if we get almost a billion points, we can take the e exam. Actually, it was 999,999,999, I think. So, less than a billion. Not, not a billion. Um... We can take the exam, but the uh, citizens there will still hate us. Of course, if you lose, you're dead. That's sort of a tough deal. Life is very hard. Must be tough. Aren't we all brothers and sisters? Ah, uh, you know, like people say that, but then when it comes down, when it actually comes down to it, they find ways to dehumanize the immigrants so they can feel good about not uh, letting them in. Tough. It's life is tough. Life is just tough. Perhaps you're right. By the way, Becky, how many points do you have? Um, it's not important, really. Look, look. I know you're new here, but it's considered gauche to ask someone how many points they have. Uh, it's, it's just, let's just say it's not enough. Today hurt much damage. Kerr. Must you? Oh, we have to spend our points. How do you? How does? How are you supposed to get enough points if you have to spend them on repairs? You know, it sounds like Arahim. You know, maybe he has a point. Maybe we should, uh, maybe we should ask Arahim for a pamphlet. Um, you know, just read up on a little bit about, uh, what he's thinking. He's sorry about this. Oh, don't say that. We can always get more points. We love fighting auto men. It's what we live for. I'm so happy that I met someone else. Close to Domus 233. Let's go in. Mr. Mahara, look, that's Domus 233. Who's was the closest one? Well, uh, oh, he'll be going. What? Everyone that we bet Becky meets leaves her eventually. She lives her life alone, forming no connections except to Mochu. We just got here. I don't want to dock at the Domus. I'll fix my sass by myself, like I always do. Thank you very much. But... We just met. 
I've already caused you enough trouble. Plus, I hate formalities. Also, I'm probably Arahim, so they'll like they'll they'll recognize me if I go there. That I'll be like probably a late game twist or something. Would you mind releasing the tow line? Well, I guess so. I'm sorry. I know I'm being selfish. Thanks again for helping, Becky. Maybe we'll meet again someday. He's gone. Do you think he'll be all right? He's just drifting. Good. I don't like the old man. Oh, what? Why are you so mean, Mochu? I just... I need... I need the companion of other people. I can't live by myself, Mochu. I can't do it. I'm cracking up, Mochu. Old man is with the... Oh, old man is with the resistance. Are you crazy? That nice old man? I don't believe it. No Navicom on the Bobcat. The Bobcat didn't have one either? No Navicom means bad things? Must be careful. Bad people. Maybe Mr. Mahara and the crew of the Lynx were a bit odd. They were so interesting! Maybe one day we must fight them. Maybe we're going to have to kill Mr. Mahara someday, Becky. Don't form, don't form emotional connections. They will only betray you in the end. Fight! Oh, with those... They were so cool, though! Maybe yes, maybe no? Let's go inside, Domus. Pilot license? Confirmed. SAS registration? Confirmed. Scanning condition of SAS? Condition red? Yes, severe damage. Move immediately to the repair bay. We're hurt pretty badly. Looks like we're gonna have to use all of our points to pay for the repairs. How am I ever going to reach Terra? Seems like I never make any progress, no matter how many. Auto men I sink. They say you have to make, you have to use points to make points. But I never make enough points to get past paying for my basic needs to actually invest my points to start making more points. I can, I can never make enough to start exploiting the system. And that's why we'll eventually join the resistance. Do you want to earn more chips? What? Uh, sure, of course. If you want to earn a lot of chips, why don't you join S-Mission? What's S-Mission? It's a CDH spon sponsored program to revive the human po- Oh, it's it's that kind of mission. Look, I don't know if, um, not sure how desperate we are here. Hmm, helping CDH, hey? That doesn't sound so bad. You would be contributing to CDH in an important way, and the rewards for successfully completing S mission are much larger than the rewards for N mission. However, S mission is extremely dangerous. Actually, I'm getting a bit bored fighting the Auto Man. I mean, I thought it was cool at first, but man, just, just it's endless, you know, just endless killing. Even if it's dangerous, it might be better to take this mission and earn more points. Operator, yes, I'm in. I want to join S mission. Request approved. Transferring all data on S mission presently under the jurisdiction of Domus number 233 to the Navicom system on board your SAS. Thanks, operator. Hmm. I wonder what it's going to be like. Maybe I should have asked for more information on the extremely dangerous mission before I agreed to it. Oh, well. Oh, hey, gameplay? We can buy and sell items at the shop. Buy parts for my sub. Whoops. Oh, uh, I don't know what I need to buy. I have 600 cents. There's many things... Well, I mean, we can't afford any of that. Battery? We have fuel. I have absolutely no point of reference to know on what should be what should be bought. We can set up, but we don't have any new items. There's S mission. Sure, let's join S mission. We're back. Did you miss me? Receive new mission data. Whoop! Joined S mission. Becky, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I want to live dangerously and get to Terra. I think I'll be able to handle the job. Uh, 
Of course. But S mission is very risky. Thanks, Mochu. Soon we'll go to Terra. Yes. Now explain the mission. Right. What do we have to do? S mission number 68030. Oh, sea monster must capture or destroy. Sea monster? What do you mean? Don't know? Unknown creature. Cha! Never seen one before. Many sass wreck near this gnomus. Kerr. Really? Maybe it's just the auto man. No, impossible. CDH tracks all auto men. Nerp. Plus. Plus what? Don't keep me hanging. The report says creature is huge. All right, let me get this straight. There's a creature around here that can demolish a sass. Come on. No details available. Many, maybe very, very big squid. Well, that sounds like a piece of cake or sushi. <laughs> but very big. Must be careful. Many sass go bye bye. Were? I don't really understand some of the sounds that Mochi makes. Okay, okay. I'll be careful. You'll be dead. Many good people dead. Oh. Better pilots than you, Becky. Better sass. All dead. Yeah, see, all dead. Must be careful, Becky. Okay, I understand. Really? <laughs> Good. Grr, time to go. Let's do it. Entering new destination. Here we go. Watch out for auto men. I'll be careful. Wow, a sea monster. I wonder if it really exists. To position X, let's head to our deaths. Well, my auto men are attacking. I don't actually see a position X. Oh, actually, does my, uh... Okay, yeah, I do have, like, a little compass there saying which direction I should be heading into. While we are conti we while we are harried by auto men. And that X is gonna appear any time now, I assume. There are many indeed there are indeed many auto men in the ocean. Well that's no good. Got some air, and probably a few, and we got fuel. Probably hit points would would be good though, for the current situation. Oh, there's the X. But before we head to the X, maybe we should just pick up that treasure chest. I mean, of course, like three auto men. There's like so many sh missiles, so many torpedoes coming at us. See if we can get this stuff. There's so many things here. It's got to be HP regain. There we go. Well, we got some stuff. Oh, we have like a little sonar thing. Should be somewhere close. Somewhere is right. All I can see is ocean. Could be anywhere. No squids. Nothing here. 
Eep. We don't have the exact coordinates. Let's just start looking around. Okay. Look at sonar. Is it a squid? Very small. Could it be an Ottoman or another sass? Too small. Getting closer. Bu buoy. A buoy? You mean a beacon? Yes. It's sending a signal. Can we pick it up? We got it. Do not leave the future of humanity to CDH. Let's fight together to eliminate the control of CDH. We, the Resistance, need your help. I am Arahim, the leader of the Resistance. Arahim, the person Sally was talking about. What kind of a nut is this guy? We are imagining like this long-haired trench coat wearing man just firing a gun in a city? Resistance propaganda. Propaganda? Political advertising. Probably many bad buoys all over the ocean. So it's asking me to join the resistance? Yes, some people here, some people join. I wonder if Sally and the others heard a message like this. Maybe. What if resistance using sea monster to destroy Sass? Hmm? What if, what if? What are you talking about? Terrible resistance. Must stop them. Must stop them. Mochu, don't worry so much. I'm not going to join the resistance. I'm just, I just want to know a bit more about, uh, you know, their philosophy. And so I'm not going to join them or anything. Arahim is evil. Look, I'm not going to let him or the resistance hurt CDH. Wow. Oh, we forgot about the sonar. That isn't a squid or an octopus. It's a dinosaur. That must be what we're looking for. Let's kill it. Yoop! Dinosaur? Look, see for yourself. Eep! Even if it is a dinosaur. It's no match for our weapons. Uh, I've got this mission in the bag. Attack the sea monster! Um... Maybe we should take a look at whatever the, like this is. I don't actually know what this is. And that you know, we lost. It didn't it didn't work out too well. And that's our look at Dive Alert Becky's version. Um it's kind of mostly a visual novel more than anything else, isn't it? Uh, there's a lot of dialogue, a lot of talking about this horrible world that they live in uh, where they are trying to find land for humanity to live on. But in the meantime, they are being controlled by the CDH. A society that clearly takes advantage of the seafaring peoples. And everyone dreams of making enough points to actually earn citizenship. But no one actually does. And that leads to people becoming radicalized and joining the resistance. Uh, and following Arahim. And then in between that is like this really sluggish gameplay. Where like you just kind of shoot some dots onto other dots on the screen. And, uh, well, I mean, I, I guess we would have needed to uh, equip our sub, our sass, when we were at the base with some better stuff, uh, and figure out how to use, uh, items and weapons and such in between, you know, the, the dialogue and the drama, uh, that it, I don't know. It's, it's not really what I thought it was going to be at all. Uh, but, uh, it does seem to be a pretty ambitious thing for the, uh, the system it was on. So, I will give Dive Alert, Becky's version, uh, a, a bully, as Bully does think submarines are cool. Um, he would be too big for the submarine, of course. Uh, but he's not, he doesn't really think about that too much. He's a bit concerned. He does he's not really concerned about that element of it. Um... And a hundred years have passed since the explosion of Series B. Series B was even more serious than Earth thought it was going to be. 
And uh, so that's our look at, at Dive Alert Becky's version.